So by now, I'm sure you've already seen the disappointment that is Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Now, to keep this quick and short, I'll just cut to the part where I talk about how the way they decided to murk Batman was just some certified ass in a briefcase nonsense, bro. Now, see, the issue isn't the fact that Batman got murked. I mean, it's called Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. But the real issue, at least from my point of view, is not only how Batman was taken out, but which Batman was taken out like that. Now, to my surprise when I first heard it, Rocksteady confirmed that this game does in fact take place within the Arkhamverse, aka my number one favorite iteration of Batman. Now what this means is that the same guy that fans of the game have been playing as since 2009 to 2015 is the exact same dude who ends up meeting his end in this manner. Now see, what would have made this scene easier to just brush off would have been if they didn't have this take place in the Arkhamverse. You know why? Cause that way they wouldn't have been shitting all over the legacy of this version of the character. There's no reason why they couldn't have just had this game be its own thing and just be like, nah nah nah, this ain't the Gotham Knights universe, this ain't the Telltale universe, this ain't the Injustice universe, it's not the Arkhamverse, it's its own isolated continuity. That would have been much better than what the hell we got. You telling me that this Batman, who's been through everything that he's been through from Origins to Asylum to City to Night, ends up perishing this pathetically bro? What kind of shit is that? This the same Batman that changed the game on how superhero based video games are played. I mean, and I've played past Batman games, but they were nowhere near as good as this quadrilogy. I mean, Rise of Sin Tzu wasn't a bad game, but it wasn't Arkham City, that's for damn sure. I mean, dog, Insomniac Spider-Man most likely wouldn't even be as good as it is if it wasn't for this game. And bro, over the years, Spider-Man has had way more games than what you can count on both hands and feet. Like, when it comes to games, bros like the Super Mario of Marvel. I'm talking Spider-Man 2000, the Sam Raimi movie tying games, Ultimate Spider-Man, Friend of Foe, Shattered Dimensions, Edge of Time, Web of Shadows, and like a bunch of other stuff that I never got the chance to play before they stopped making copies. And a lot of these games were fire. I mean, shit, I enjoy games like the 2000 ones so much that I wish it got a remaster. But even so, the Insomniac verse took Spider-Man games to another level with much thing Thanks to the Rocksteady Batman games. And y'all decide to do bro like this? That is blasphemous! Heresy! I mean, like, bro, imagine if Insomniac Spider-Man went through everything he went through just to end up getting murked in the alley somewhere by some random-ass henchman. Like, just, like, not even a D-list villain, just a random-ass thug in the alley. Just blast Spider-Man brains out. Ain't no way in the hell you would see that that's a respectful way to send off a character like that. And, like, bro, to take it a step further, how the hell are you gonna not only say that it takes place in the same universe, but also have all these little hints and all these callbacks and Easter eggs and references to the possibility of the Justice League existing within the Arkhamverse? Then, in Arkhamverse, Arkham Knight confirm that Superman is indeed in Metropolis and he's doing his own thing over there. Only then to make a game about the Justice League where we get introduced to them and then y'all just kill them off in the same game. Like, come on, son. Can you imagine just how smack an Arkham vs. Justice League game would have been if Rocksteady decided to just do the right thing and make it? You cannot tell me that that joint wouldn't have went crazy. It could have been way better than the Avengers game, that's for damn sure. But instead of greatness, we got this. What a waste. What a waste. As far as I'm concerned, bro. Arkham Knight was the last that we ever saw from this Batman. So I'm just gonna ignore this game the same way I ignore Boondock Season 4.